Hey folks, what's up? It's Khazri here. Welcome to this tutorial. In this one, we're going to be talking about Vera exterior lighting. Uh, and uh, so we're not going to be creating any fancy materials or stuff like that. I'm just going to walk you through uh, the uh, basic process of uh, lighting your scene in especially the uh, exterior scene. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now, if I go through and render the scene, as you can see, uh, it's just... And there are some displacements going on and we should probably uh, turn that off. Uh, so as you can see, there is uh, absolutely nothing here going on. So uh, uh, the first thing uh, I want you to do is uh, go to your render setting and make sure you have Vera Bridge going on here. Now in your options, um, there is, uh, let me just go here. There is this override material, possibly when you uh, work uh, uh, in your scene, uh, uh, there are, you know, uh, different approaches. Some people uh, do the lighting and then create the materials, others uh, create the materials and then uh, light uh, their scene and uh, some people mix and match between the uh, two methods. So uh, whatever uh, you do, uh, when uh, you start lighting your scene, uh, you should probably do that. You go through and create a, a very advanced material, just a simple basic material. Uh, turn on this override material and uh, put this uh, material uh, here. Uh, so now every material in your scene, whatever material that you have added to your uh, objects, uh, will be replaced by this material here, which is a basic gray uh, viewing material and that way you uh, have a much more better uh, uh, you know lighting uh, situation and you uh, can uh, much more quickly uh, without having to wait for a uh, different complicated material to uh, be rendered you can simply and quickly uh, light your uh, scene so let's uh, go ahead and get started uh, make sure you do this and uh, while we are here let's go ahead and actually uh, quickly uh, enable our uh, global illumination. So let me uh, turn on the indirect illumination, uh, turn it on, and uh, also in the presets, let's go to these um, preview setups and preview uh, urgence map light gauge. Just turn that on and uh, it should be enough. Go to your DMC sampler, anti-aliasing, uh, reduce that to something like 16 or even 8 for starting point, and uh, that would be possibly enough. Now let's go ahead and uh, add our first light, which uh, is going to be our uh, sun. So let's uh, just create a light and uh, make sure actually uh, it's uh, infinite light. Okay. And then right click on that V-Ray bridge and turn on V-Ray light. Uh, go there and let me just make more room here. Now, uh, when you add the V-Ray bridge tag to an infinite light, it uh, uh, automatically, uh, you know, uses the sunlight and it actually creates a physical sky, which uh, probably you don't want that because if you render it right now, uh, there is a physical sky. And if you want to have your own HDRI image to light up your scene, you possibly want this to be turned off. So that's what I'm going to do here. And uh, this is our light, actually. Let's uh, go ahead and quickly set up, create a null, and I'm gonna name this uh, target. And go to the light, add a Cinema 4D tags, add a target. Now, uh, you can simply go to your others, views, uh, select the light here, and you would possibly be able, let's go ahead and Get out of this camera. Actually, we have this camera I set up before, but uh, not a big problem. We're going to go through the setups there. Now let's uh, go to this target tag and add the target object here. As you can see now, it uh, uses that target and point to it. And whatever you uh, move your light, as you can see, it automatically goes and turns to that point there. Okay, great. Now let's just make sure this target light is where it should be. Doesn't matter really that much. And select the light. And I'm going to make it just something like here. 
and let's uh, just uh, go ahead and possibly I'm going to delete this tag so we create everything together. Uh, now we have this camera here as you can see and uh, let's go ahead and add a, a very physical camera tag to it or uh, there we go. And now uh, let's start by rendering our scene and see what's going on so uh, we have a basic idea of what we have right now. And before actually doing that, make sure you select your light uh, you, uh, tag here and also make sure you enable the shadow here. So uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay, as you can see, this is our first render and it's uh, not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and before doing anything, I'm going to select this uh, V-Ray uh, light tag and go to the sunlight parameter. There is this uh, turbidity option, uh, which is the amount of basically dust and uh, uh, stuff like that in uh, the atmosphere. And uh, it is uh, physically accurate to be on three, but uh, we have that control. So let's use it. I'm going to... Uh, use two here so we have a, a much more cleaner sky and also I'm going to my very physical camera tag go to the lens parameters and there is this white balance preset I'm gonna go to neutral to uh, so we avoid any color casting from our camera so neutral is uh, the option that I probably used a lot and let's uh, go ahead and render this time and see what we're gonna get Okay, it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, start working on our environment. Sorry. Now, uh, the first thing uh, you want to do, you have different methods when the time comes to setting up environment. Uh, the first method is going to uh, V-Ray Bridge Settings. Go to the Environment tab and down here you can load up an HDRI image and uh, work with it if you want. That's totally up to you. But uh, uh, there are a few problems. First of all, you can't have a preview uh, and uh, it's going to be a bit hard to set up. But uh, there are, is a much more better way of doing it and this is using V-Ray Dome Light. So let's create a simple light and let's uh, name it Dome. And let's actually name this our Sun. Now let's go ahead, right click V-Ray Bridge Tag, add a V-Ray... Uh, very light tag, uh, change the light type uh, when we want to use the very dome light basically uh, you have to make sure you change your uh, light type to area light and in the area light tab uh, make the area type to dome. Now when you do that you get this light dome options, uh, turn on the spherical dome and turn on use textures and now you can uh, use whatever HDRI image that you have. I'm going to be using uh, this uh, HDR image that I uh, have here uh, so you can use whatever uh, HDR image that you want or you can use the uh, Canon browser of Cinema 4D uh, there are uh, uh, HDRIs that you can uh, use but I'm gonna use this uh, HDR that I have and uh, now in order to preview the HDRI uh, simply there is a new feature in uh, V-Ray 1.9 uh, where this is V-Ray Dome Light Texture View. Turn that uh, on, enable this, and make sure you have your light uh, that has the dome texture on uh, selected, and then you can select, uh, click on Preview Texture. And when you do that, you can see there is a preview. Uh, just, uh, I'm gonna go to a bit more uh, high quality image here. So turn the preview uh, texture again. So, uh, sorry, uh, you really have to, sorry have it turned on so let's go there okay just make sure you preview the texture and I am trying to get this thing going on let's just close this thing here okay now just uh, go ahead and 
uh, select V-Ray Dome Light Texture View and make sure, and there we go. Now preview the texture, there we go. Now you can, uh, if you want to actually rotate your HDR image, you can simply select your dome light and uh, select your uh, transformation tool and you can simply uh, rotate your HDRI and see the result uh, really simply. As you can see, it's a, quite a simple process. There we go. Now, um, let's go ahead and actually kind of dock this thing here. So uh, I'm having a bit of problem with my mouse. I'm not sure what's going on here. So let's just go there. There we go. Now, uh, let's go ahead into our V-Ray Dome Light texture. Make sure you enable shadow. Uh, uh, they should turn this option by default. This is so annoying. Uh, so let's go there and select the image here. I'm just going to add a bit more exposure. So let's go something like 10. Uh, oh, let's go something like maybe 7. And I'm going to turn this HDRI gamma down to... Uh, introduce a bit more contrast to our uh, image and uh, let's go ahead and see what we have this time. The uh, sky is uh, still too uh, sort of uh, dark here and uh, let's go there and really make this exposure too much. Let's go to something like 30 and see what's going to happen here. And if it's going to help us uh, having a bit more brighter image and brighter HDR looks like we we have gone uh, so far there so let's uh, select the very dome light and go to something like 10 and see what we have here okay there we go that's not too bad generally speaking but uh, Let's uh, go through and uh, see uh, what we can do. Uh, and uh, actually, let's have a, a, a bigger render. Let's go to our render setting output. Uh, that's not too bad, 10, 24, 5, SM6. And let's uh, go ahead, I'm going to uh, just uh, render and see what we have. Okay, there we go. As you can see, it's not too bad. And uh, basically, it's a good starting point. Then you can actually add your materials and see how the lighting works with them. And if uh, the needs be, you can uh, adjust uh, whatever is necessary. So let's uh, just go ahead and work with our very physical camera a bit here. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, uh, go to our shutter speed to something like 125 and render it again and see we should have a much more brighter scene um, and see let's uh, see what's going to happen there okay as you can see now we have a much more brighter scene than this one as you can see it's uh, better uh, render generally speaking and as i said you add the, your materials and uh, then you uh, uh, compare to see if uh, the lighting is adequate or not or you need to uh, add more lights you possibly when you add your metallic uh, car paint material to uh, your car uh, you need to add more uh, lights uh, in order to uh, kind of adjust your lighting the way you want it but basically this is the very basic exterior lighting setup that uh, you need to follow when you want to uh, light up your uh, scene so uh, thank you for watching and uh, follow this channel hopefully we're going to have much more uh, in depth and more viewer tutorial in uh, upcoming weeks. So uh, thank you. It was Khazri with you. Uh, see you next time.